I've been playing the banjo at this point, this is 2016, for about 52 or 53 years. I started in 1963, and I started with bluegrass, and I fell in love with Earl Scruggs' sound. And in a lot of ways, that's still at the heart of what I do. But at some point after playing for five or six years, I decided I wanted to kind of get off into other territory. And I was listening to a lot of jazz. And I grew up listening to show tunes that my parents would play around the house and classical music. So I was hearing other sounds. Um, in fact, I, I did this banjo contest at the very first Bluegrass Festival in 1965 in Fincastle, Virginia. And Bill Monroe was there and the Stanley Brothers and all sorts of wonderful folks, Jimmy Martin. And Ralph Stanley was one of the judges for the banjo contest. And I don't remember what exactly the notes I played, but it was something like this. I decided, oh, I'll play Nine Pound Hammer, which is a kind of a traditional tune. And I did something like that, and I can only imagine the expression on Ralph Stanley's face as he was hearing this. What? Uh, so as early as 1965, after I'd been playing for a couple of years, I was getting twisted out a little bit, musically speaking. Um, and so I just wanted to hear other things in my playing. And I started writing tunes of my own uh, in the later 60s. And then uh, when I did my first album in 1973, I was playing with some folks in New York City. And we were all kind of into stretching boundaries a little bit and coming out of bluegrass, but wanting to hear some different sounds. And our mandolin player, Andy Statman, played saxophone. So I wrote some tunes that had some saxophone on it. And um, another tune had bass clarinet and drums. So I was just trying to kind of reflect what I was listening to. And thanks to the Beatles and Van Dyke Parks and Brian Wilson's Pet Sounds and Smile and Zappa and just all these sounds I was hearing in the later 60s. Uh, yeah, you can do stuff that hadn't been done before. You can try stretching the boundaries, why not? And so I was kind of coming out of that mindset and trying to do that, sometimes writing tunes with more uh, complicated chords. Nothing wrong with GCD either at all, but just I was kind of hearing some other things. So I started putting that in there um, and continued to try hearing different sounds. Uh, I'm working on a new album where I've got a string quartet on one thing and I've got a, a march that I wrote and I've got an eight piece brass band on there. So it's just, there's, you know, there are really no rules as far as I'm concerned. You can play anything on this instrument. It's a musical instrument. It's not a bluegrass instrument. You can play anything on it. And, uh, they're, a bunch of us that have been trying to do those things and over the years, Noah Bekelny and Bela Fleck and Jens Kruger and on and on and on. So uh, anyway, that's how I look at it. <laughs>